in this video, I'm going to give you guys the complete lowdown on the new DJI Digital FPV Goggles version 2 that have been released today. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what the differences are between the version 1s and the version 2s and whether you should consider upgrading or not. So today we finally have the version 2 goggles. Now, just to be clear, this isn't the version 2s, it's the version 1s. Now, just to make something else clear up front, this is not a version 2 FPV system. It is simply a version 2 set of goggles. Whilst the goggles have been updated, the ear units and the FPV remote remain exactly the same. And whilst there is some little changes to the way the system works, there are no new hardware. And that FPV remote, you saw the little sort of joystick key one that hasn't been released it is just the goggles that have been updated now just to walk you through what the changes are on this overall the shape and size of the new version 2s is basically the same as the v1s the lcd screen resolution is exactly the same but it has now been increased to 144 hertz now there are some minor changes to the radio system on the new fpv version 2 first of all the version 2s now support the 2.4 gig band as well as the 5 5 gig band the original fpv system just worked on 5 gigahertz however the new fpv goggles work on 2.4 as well but you do need to be aware that the dji ear units are still only 5 gigahertz so when using the version 2 fpv goggles with your ear units the system only works on 5 gig the 2.4 gig that they've added is basically for future use and there are no products available at this time that support it alongside this increased frequency range they've also increased the system resolution and in both the standard mode as well as low latency mode so 60 frames a second and 120 frames a second they've increased the resolution from 720p to 8 10p now my understanding on this is this supports only on the version 2 system and you're going to then have a firmware update on your ear unit that actually allows it to work on them as well as i know it today i don't believe the version 1 goggles will support the 810p and that would remain on 720p now other than that, that is the main changes to the goggles themselves. The final thing is that DJI now also include a 2S 1800mAh battery as part of the pack with the FPV goggles. This is an external battery that you simply will be able to plug in, whereas before you had to have your own LiPo. But that really is the big overall changes. Now, as I mentioned at the start, there are no new ear units and there is no new digital FPV remote controller. The ear units and the remote remain exactly the same same the fpv goggles version 2 will work with both the dji ear unit and the cadix vista as does the version 1 and the fpv remote will work with both sets of goggles as well overall whilst we've seen a bump in resolution up to that 810p for the version 2s everything else is pretty much the same right now now, another question that's definitely going to pop up is does the 1200 milliwatt hack as well as the FCC hack still work on the version 2 goggles and system? Well, the reality is right now we don't know. Personally, I'm expecting nothing to change on that and I would expect both to work exactly the same as they did before, but that isn't confirmed at this time. We're going to have to wait and see how this develops as the goggles come out. Now, here and now, the goggles are available to order on the DJI website in the US, but they don't appear to be on many other countries' listings at the moment. Alongside the included battery and the increased slight spec, there is a price increase of about $40 on the goggles themselves as well in the US. I don't know how that's going to reflect across the world. However, it is also worth taking into account there has been some price increases in the US for many other reasons as well, and that might not be directly related to the increase in spec. Now, that is pretty much it. Overall, it is a pretty minor update, and whilst it's nice to see that bump in resolution on the image transmission, if you're an FPV user today, there really is no reason to run out and buy the version 2s tomorrow. Here and now, there is nothing that supports that new 2.4 gig band and we're going to have to see if e units come out supporting that or what any other products might come out in the future that that is designed to be used for now 
please do let me know in the comments of this video what you think. Please do tell me what you think about the new FPV goggles version 2, whether you think the update is decent, whether you think it was going to be more or less. If you've got any questions on this, please do put them in the comments of the video and I will try to answer them as well. Here and now, there is a link to be able to pre-order the new goggles in the description of this video for anyone who would like to support the channel as well. Now, in the future, I'm going to be releasing a number of videos on the FPV system as I've done in the past, and we've got a couple of interesting ones coming up looking at the OcuSync FPV system itself on a Spectrum Analyzer. If you're really interested in seeing that, please do consider hitting the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the little bell as well. That way, when I release those videos, you'll get an update to say that they're out, and you can check them out as well. Finally, that's it from me. Thank you for watching, and I will put a video out if there's any new information in the near future.